Hi everyone, Stuart Cove here with Last Man Diving. After a gorgeous summer here on the reefs, walls and wrecks of Nassau, it's hurricane season once again. The traditional time that newscasters and weathermen boost their ratings by terrifying the naive and gullible into believing that their lives may be snatched from them at any moment by a horrific hurricane. That's right, now with the latest technology, they track these vicious storms from the coast of Africa all the way to the Caribbean. This gives them plenty of time to whip their viewers into a frenzy, which if they are successful, becomes a buying frenzy at the local Walmart or Home Depot. With their carefully constructed scare tactics, they turn the average law-abiding citizen into a bloodthirsty maniac who will hack off your arm with a tree saw to get the last double A battery on the shelf. But worst of all is the bottled water scam. Oh yeah, you heard me right, water. A commodity that is practically free when it comes out of the tap suddenly costs more than premium beer, for heaven's sakes, when you put it into a fancy carcinogen-laden plastic bottle. Next thing you know, they'll be trying to bottle air. Wait a minute, that's what we do here at Stuart Coves Dive Bahamas. But at least the air we sell you lets you dive on a virgin Bahamian reef, explore a magnificent shipwreck, or get up close and personal with awesome sea creatures. Yes, here at Stuart Coves, you can put our bottles to good use, unlike the ones that go stale in your closet, and the water starts tasting like the toxic plastic they come in. Hey, can someone pass me a water? So the next time you hear the fear-mongering fake newscasters tell you to start hoarding stuff like this, take the money you would have flushed down the toilet and put it towards a ticket to Stuart Cove's Dive Bahamas, where we'll show you the time of your life and not scare the wits out of you. I mean, even the sharks are afraid of those reporters from CNN. So be honest. Would you rather be hunkered down under a mattress in your bathroom, listening to a transistor radio by candlelight, or gliding breathlessly over a picturesque coral reef or shipwreck? The choice is yours. I know what I would choose.